family, Minister Missy Darby here. First off, thank you all for the love and the support that you give to Stephen Darby and Destin Ministries. Some of you all are so faithful to the live stream services. One thing Pastor Steve made sure to do was to teach us very thoroughly. He was an excellent teacher. People look at me and ask, what is she doing right there? Pastor Steve would never have allowed this. And what people don't realize is we've been a ministry for over 18 years. Before we've ever been on YouTube, we were already this, we were already doing this. I've been right here before you even knew who Pastor Steve was. I was right there when he talked to me about his vision. I was right there years later when he started the church in our home and the only mem members were myself and our children. I was right there in the first, second, and third storefront church. You didn't see or know the roles I played because you were not a member of Destin Ministries. That's why our church is still standing strong. Even after this great man of God's going, passing, five years later, we're still standing strong as a ministry. That's unheard of. But we're still standing strong and we're solid because our members knew what Pastor Steve said about me. This is what Pastor Steve said during a, a message titled, Enemy Number One. See, I raised my church. See, I got, see, y'all think I look at this stuff as success as a church or because we got thousands of people online watching us or because I can go all over the world and teach a preach. Y'all think that's what I think success is. My success is right here. If I never do nothing else, my legacy is secure because when they see my daughter and my two sons and my other daughter back there succeed, wherever they go, they're going to say, Stephen Darby was a bad man. So if I never did nothing else, I done it. If I died today, my wife would still be cold. They will be praising me for how cold she is because of what I've done today. My legacy is secure. When he said this, I about fell out of my chair because I knew the offense that was going to come from the people who didn't know us. We actually have people writing in and they were offended because I was saying amen. They were offended when I would talk to my husband, encouraging him as he preached. They were offended that I'm sitting right here in the pulpit. They were offended to see that honor. They didn't know us. Amen. I served this man of God. Even though he was my husband, he was also my pastor. And he did not tolerate foolishness even from me. He always talked to me about what to do and how to do it. I still hear his voice at times on what to do. I see you all are blessed. I see that you all are blessed because you can actually watch the messages of Pastor Steve that we upload. But I still can't handle seeing his face and hearing his voice. So I see you as blessed you can still receive from this man of God. With that being said, we are about to uh, start our conferences back. Amen. This is what we've done. This is, what, this is who we are. We've always been like this. And we were doing our conferences before COVID, even after the passing of Pastor Steve. But we're about to start back. COVID shut us down, but we're about to start our conferences, conferences back. We had to take a break, like I said, because of COVID, but we are back. We love fellowshipping. This is a fellowshipping ministry. We love fellowshipping with our members here and those who come into town to fellowship with us and at the conferences. This is how you will know a true mark of a healthy church, the love for the brethren. And we love, like I said, we love each other. I can't stress that enough that when people come here, they, they come and say, we came because we felt the love through the live stream. We know there's no distance in the realm of the spirit. Amen. So when we get together, we love, even when Pastor Steve was alive and we did the conferences, 
We all had a ball. Our members had a ball. The the people who came out to the conferences, they had a ball. And they would always say, y'all are really like this. This is how y'all really are. Y'all are really down to earth. And we really are. Amen? We believe in respect, but we are down to earth. We love. So in the conference, the first city that we will be uh, holding a conference is, is Dallas, Texas. Shout out to our Dallas family, our Texas family. Texas is so big, and we, you all are spread out in Texas. And shout out to you all. You always show up. That's why we continue to go back to Dallas and Baltimore. You always show up. Amen? So we're going to Dallas. Our Texas family always show up. And we love seeing y'all. We, we, we will be holding a conference in Florida. Shout out to the Florida family also because y'all show up too. But this time we'll be in Orlando again. We, we were in Miami, but we'll, we're going to go to Orlando, Florida. And if you are in the New Jersey, Philadelphia area, let us know because we are having some emails come in asking if we can come up that way. So let us know the response. We're, we're basing our conferences off of the, the response from those because it does take money to put on a conference. So we want our conferences to always be a success if we come. Amen? So, but, uh, but we love seeing you all. We love fellowshipping with our brothers and our sisters that are in another state amen so the registration will be up on youtube soon be watching out we were uh waiting some for some things and to put it up but we're going to be putting that uh dallas registration up on youtube that's the ministries church and what we're going to do this time we're going to have a saturday service and also a sunday service and, you know, so we'll have our Sunday services in that city that we're going to be in. So Destin, Min Destin Ministries Church, Praise Team, and Prayer Team will be at the conferences. We look, we look forward to seeing you there. Be blessed.